Welcome back, you people blame. Okay, so I'm I'm playing. Today was play day. Um something little a little light underneath my bum hole. I think it's it's getting close to uh Mars being the F out of freaking Rosecrite in Gemini, which is my moon sign. And then Uranus is fixing to get something mid month too. Getting out of retrograde. I think it's Uranus has been retrograde since August. I don't know. It's been crazy. And um, I feel like I'm being pulled in all the directions and being spun in like too many circles all at once. So uh, with the change of energy, I like to change the environment. So this is how I'm vibing right now. Ta -da. Oops. <laughs> Frank is back here. He's backing me up. I don't know if you can see him. He's a little black skeleton with the... Uh, I got, like, stones in his eyeball, so... Yeah, Libra. I was like... After I got done with Aquarius, I was all full of spunk. So this is my spunk at work. So here we are. So I apologize if you're like, I need something stable and consistent and I do not like change. I'm a fixed sign, but when it comes to this type of stuff, yeah, I, I like to play. So I even have like a little piece of cloth over the light because I'm like, that's too bright. So this is, this is the vibe for right now. I like it. That's cozy. So Libra. What's happening? Okay. Universe, what's going on? Libra. Quite a bit, I see. Anything else? That'll do it. Okay. At the bottom of the deck for the roots of the reed, you have the King of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Swords, and the Page of Wands. All right. Assessing values with a bit of a bleeding heart. Either you're looking closely or somebody's looking really closely at you. Like, I don't know. This usually doesn't come up. If somebody, I don't know if you're like asking somebody for a loan here or if, if something is something in the resource department is being. heavily assessed here and that do it doesn't have to be coins either it could be any sort of value whether it's um, um you know uh maybe you just lost a crap ton of crops because of all the chaotic weather going on maybe um some sort of assessment to do with values is Busting you up here. You're not walking away from it, though. Eight. Oh, cups in reverse. Oof. King of cups in the upright, though. This is the shark infested water, but you got a boat there. So, go Libra, go. Then you got the world. Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. So, you're being smart about it. You're keeping steady. Throwing you for a loop, though. Your ace. Ace of swords is in reverse. Two cups is upright, though. Ooh. Nice. And that's right under the king of cups. Nice energy, Libra. Ooh, your ton of cups. It's disrupted. Oop. Judgment in reverse. And the queen of pentacles in the upright. So you do have a divine couple here. Uh, it's just the one in your root system is in reverse right now. And he could just be having a broken heart, having a moment. Your queen is looking towards the reed, though. And with the king upside down, he's also looking towards the reed here. Okay, so you're not walking away from this. You're keeping, you're floating above the shark infested waters. You get how this cycle is working. But you don't know why.
Okay. All good things with time, dear Libra. It's going to be okay. You'll figure it out. Your two of cups is in the upright here. Your little receptors are coming in and you're weaving everything together. So the ten of cups, you're not quite there yet. You want it. You, it's just right there. And you so judgment in reverse. The universe is being like, oh, you got to wait a second. Then you're queen of pentacles. And <laughs> I I don't know why. I'm really sorry, Libra. I'll wait forever, darling. Okay. Now, this does not have to be romantical. This could be like whatever. I think this feels more like a purpose place um, situation. Something that you've been working really hard towards to the point where you are you start off the read going, I'm not walking away. I'm not walking away. I'm staying exactly where I am. So even though your root system is a little blah, blah, blah at the moment, you are looking really hard at it and you're going to freaking mend it like nobody's business. I feel like this is really grounded energy. You are bound and determined here. And the universe is like, would you calm down, darling? We can't keep up. We can't keep up. Slow it down. I can't. And that's what the universe is saying here for the judgment in reverse. They're like, I see you. I know you want it. It's coming. Hang your, hang your jacket up for a hot second. And you're like, no. <laughs> okay. So I feel like you're, maybe that's where your broken heart is stemming from is because like, what did I do wrong? Why am I not getting what I asked for? Why am I not getting what I worked for? And the universe is like, I'm like just, yeah. you're just, yeah. I feel like you're ahead of the game here at Libra. And the universe is like, but I, I'm sorry. So whatever situation thing is, is doing this is, that's the problem here. It's not you, Libra. It's, that's not right. I was going to say, it's not you. It's the universe. <laughs> Everything in due time. So, but you're looking really, really hard at this situation going, how did I screw it up? And you did it. So, uh, get your king in the upright. Merge with your queen here. Da, 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 da. And then the universe will be like, okay, okay, I'm coming. So if you can merge those two things in the upright, your divine inner couple here is what I'm getting it could be outer eye, mm -mm. but there's something that's supposed to be coming together. And you have both of the energies. Your, your king is just in a tizzy at the moment because it's, you, you've dedicated a lot of time and energy to this. You've, you've freaking sailed shark infested waters, traveled the world. <laughs> And the universe is like, and you're like, but you're holding the key. It's right there. You know it's supposed to be coming. You're like, I'm waiting. I'm waiting patiently. My little receptors are open, darling. You're ready and willing to receive. <laughs> so because that's not in your grasp yet, it's just right there for you, Libra. The universe just is not... Uh, um, able to pull that off at the very moment and it could be too that you might have worked so hard on this that you might have manifested past whatever you were shooting for so whatever you really really wanted here the universe is like and it got something else going not something worse but something better Ooh, okay Come on, Libra. You've got this. You know how to hang tough. Eight of cups in the reverse. Ooh. Ten of swords. There it is. Enlightenment. That's why maybe this is going to bring into something. Yeah, king of cups in, or no, knight of cups in reverse. That in and out love thing. So that in and out. Ooh, maybe that's. Lessons, darling. Lessons. Your temperance is in reverse. Yeah, the impatient part is going to, might, 
might delay things just a bit, but it's coming, it's coming to the light. See, this is, so this not walking away. Feels like you bound and determined to learn the lesson and the worst part of it is over and you've come to the, your wisdom and understanding of what this situation is supposed to be bringing you. And the Knight of Cups is not, Knights always come in and out and in and out and in and out. And in the mystical moments, the, the Knight of Cups is sitting on a locust blossom playing a guitar that is an actual heart. So you're, you're not inviting that energy in anymore. And part of that is throwing you a little off balance because you're, you're not quite quite used to saying, you know, um, I don't appreciate the in and out. I'm not um, willing to reciprocate with any part of that anymore. I see you, I can still respect you, but I'm not engaging. And that, when we make that shift as human beings, that's complete. You are just, you're walking in a completely foreign body in a foreign country, speaking a foreign language. And it, it will, when you start using that enlightenment and start tipping the scales a little bit, people are going to respond to you differently. And it's going to throw you for a loop because you're trying to use, utilize what you've just learned in a positive way for yourself and others but that that friction that comes right in that beginning stage of like initiating everything but it's all coming to light you're bringing it out you're not hiding it here Libra. you're you're doing the work and being thrown off balance it's gonna happen when you are a completely different person walking in a completely different paradigm speaking a completely different language because you are when we have problems communicating with people is because we're speaking different languages to each other. And that's why sometimes people don't hear us or we can't hear others. Okay. So you will get in that balance back. Just give it some time. Okay. But you did you completed whatever cycle came before this brilliantly. I will say because the 10, there's two tens of cups in this deck, the tarot of the abyss. And you've got the, the enlightened one that gained the wisdom. Your cycle isn't just over, but you learned all of the lessons. And now you're moving forward, looking this in the face with absolute truth and trust. Really good energy, Libra. Okay, so let's get the king of cups in the world clarified. All right, one card it is. Six of Wands. Okay, yep. And you're, you did do a really good job here. And you do deserve an applause and some roses and all that good gravy. So give yourself a little bit of time to appreciate how much work you've done. Because this is more than just a complete cycle. This is, I feel like for you, this was just a major turning point in your life here. Huge turning point. And the universe is like, okay, that came way faster than we thought it would. <laughs> it's just the universe is like, okay, okay, we're coming. We got stuff in the works. So, yeah, there's so, uh, Uranus is in, still in retrograde, and so is Mercury in Gemini to boot, right? Yeah. The 11th. Oh, my Lord. Don't ask me what day it is. Okay. So the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Two of Cups upright for Libra. Can I get that clarified? Pretty please. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, it's, it's going to grow slow. It's, it's moving. It's coming. I know it takes forever, especially when we just got done doing the work. We're like, okay, can I have my reward, please? Instant gratification, Libra. I hear ya. Just a little bit more time. Ten of cups in reverse. Please for Libra. Okay. I got lots of cards for that one. Okay. The two of cups is in reverse. <sighs> two of pentacles in the upright, though. 
the fool in reverse ten of wands in reverse the three of wands in the upright so you do really want to move forward here and you want to start experimenting with putting some of those values structures up on the uh, infinity symbol to bring it back around right but you're not being dumb about it and you're not taking responsibility for anything that's not yours. Good call. And you know exactly how you want to move forward. The only problem is, is your two of cups is in reverse because the ten is in reverse. So that's going to throw a little loop. But the, the universe is going to come in slow but sure and kind of show you a better way to step into that queen of pentacles, king of pentacles energy. The wise one. Yeah. So this is going to be you by the end of this cycle. You just got to wait for a few extra pieces to fall in here. And then you get your Queen of Pentacles, which I'm now clarifying. Ooh, King of Wands. Okay. Again, I just talked about when we have, you know, Queen of Pentacles isn't really going to understand how the King of Wands is trying to communicate to her. So what this is telling me here is that you are going to start learning that even though you are on a different frequency and a, a separate level of not necessarily level but um a frequency vibrational energy you're just it's not that you're better or worse it's that you're just coming together and you're trying to trying to communicate with other people that are um not necessarily of different minds but they they have a different pattern. They have a different system of operations. So you are starting to learn and conceive of the fact that you can start to communicate to other people and get through, even though you have this, this very distinguished, now very distinguished language, not just with yourself, but with the universe. And that radiates off of you, whether you say anything or not. So coming to this energy, you're going to start to learn to understand and navigate how this energy is going to be perceived by you and how you respond to this energy. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that like this is your divine counterpart. I'm saying that this is the energy you're going to bring towards these different communications, if that makes any sense. And it should be noted here that you are carrying a lot of wands that need to be dumped. So this particular person, situation, thing, what have you, is coming in and they are going to say, hey, let me let me take some of those wands off your hands. Let me let me show you how to work the wand magic. <laughs> okay? So be be aware that like and I don't know if it's person place thing situation outside forces whatever. It's just an energy. So it could be anything, but just know that when you're like walking through life with too many responsibilities, don't hesitate to ask somebody who might be more of an expert in that particular area of responsibility or what have you um, and ask them how they deal with it the best or if they have any resources for you okay just that's what I'm getting I know it was a lot I apologize but if it comes through I gotta say it okay that was good though. Anything else? All right, let's do clarification on the roots of Libra's read. Do, 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 do. One card? Only one? Okay, okay, okay. See what happened? Okay. So we've got the Ace of Cups, Three of Swords, duh. Queen of Wands. Interesting. And the Five of Wands. The 
somebody else. I think it was Gemini had two divine couples too. Okay. Okay. So we've got a, we've got two couples here. The King of Pentacles, however, is in reverse. But you've got the Queen of Wands now in your roots. Ooh, this is like, ooh, you know what this feels like? It feels like your conscious and your subconscious are like, like, and it, I don't know, like the halves of your brain are being like bridged here. Sorry, I, <laughs> wow, okay. That's really fascinating because you have the Queen of Pentacles on the outside, your conscious, conscious awareness with the king of wands, but then in your root system or your subconscious, your gut level, whatever you want to call it, whatever, you have the king of pentacles and the queen of wands. So they're masculine, feminine energies on both sides communicating with each other here. Oh. So whatever King of Wands is coming to you from the outside is going to teach you how to, this feels, okay, it's, it is the fire element. This feels something, and then you've got the wise one here. I feel like this is, I don't know, you're listening to a reading, and I'm scared to tell you that you might have some serious spiritual upgrades. <laughs> Like, uh, really serious spiritual upgrades here, Libra. So, um, I feel like maybe this wasn't exactly what you were asking for when it comes to the Ten of Cups. But if you're merging all these energies on the inside, you know, coming together with conscious, subconscious energies... Your divine uh, Ten of Cups energy is going to be off the charts. So if that's what you're hoping for. Just a heads up. Go Libra, go. Okay, that was epic. All right. So where are we at? Ooh. Where do we want to go with the Libra read? Wines, dude. We're going to get a Spitfire in here for you. Dragoon energy. What kind of dragoon does Libra need? Spark this lovely little king and queen of wands. What are we thinking for Libra universe? What do they need? Okay, not half the deck. Libra. I know it'd be nice. There's one. Look at that, maybe one. No, I'm not. Oof. Grief. Accepting loss. Let me see what's at the bottom. Time. Okay. Time. That's another one. So. Hmm. I'm not saying that your king of pentacles needs to croak or anything. But there might. That could be. And this does not have to be an actual physical death. By any means. You could be. A dream could be a goal, aspiration, a mental situation that just is not serving you anymore, an emotional pattern that just needs to fall to the wayside, um, taking on people's responsibilities that are not yours. That does get the English version. Side note, for someone who reads a freaking, <laughs> who reads an oracle card at the end of her readings, this is not the best light you're having. Okay. <laughs> okay. Grief, accepting loss, alpha booties, the herdsman is the, and hell if you're going to be able to see the freaking card, but this is an epic card. Okay. We'll try. We'll t I'm not saying we're not going to try. We're just going to. Ooh, that is a real. What even is that? Like, what kind of. <sighs> what kind of fuckery. 
Then you can't see it at all. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, that's not bad. Okay, ready, set, grow. They say it is better to have loved and lost than not to have loved at all. But the pain is real and trying. When faced with loss, don't deny the gravity of the situation. Take time to truly process and accept and handle, the, accept the hand dealt. There will be tears, depression, sorrow, but acceptance will come once the cycle has run its course. Work towards accepting the loss. Own your grief and wear it like armor. Let it shield your heart like a chest plate. There is no shame but power in trial. Own the power of grieving and all its release. Let go. Let it flow through you. Wear it with pride. Strength will come with time. So many times in life we are tempted to, quote unquote, keep calm and carry on. But now is not the time or the place for such robotic and inhumane reproach, approach. Feel your sadness. Take that time to mourn a loss. Own your grief when you need to. The time has come. Okay. So that might be in your way here. That might be what is causing the Ten of Cups to be in reverse. I mean, if you had to sail some shark infested waters. The lessons are many, Libra. And that's okay. But you're getting through it, man. You're becoming the wise one here. So whatever this process is, I feel like it's bringing you to some sort of state that's going to maybe have you help other people that have gone through the same thing you went through. You do have the Six of Wands here after all. So something that this is accumulating for you is going to be... This could be some sort of path life journey that is probably starting to really accumulate for you here. This is something I think you haven't seen what's been growing. I think you haven't looked at that yet. And the whole time it's been, it's been there growing. It's just, you're not, you haven't looked at it. Maybe that's what it is. You can't see it yet, but I feel like this is going to be you bringing something when it comes to healing forward to help other people who are either going through or have gone through this. All right, Libra. I hope you. Have a glorious week. And may the Ten of Cups be ever in your favor, darling. Until next time, I love you and keep your flame.